How does a virus spread? There are plenty of ways. It could be a sneeze, a handshake to name a few. Then there's our habits, washing our hands, not touching our face. Even the climate may play a role in determining how far and how fast an infection spreads. Scientists have summed up how far an infection can spread with a number. It's called R0. A number greater than one indicates it'll grow. Less than one indicates the outbreak will die out. Scientists determine the number with a formula that brings together all the environmental and biological factors. This is how it looks in reality. An infection is introduced to a human, from an animal, let's say. The bigger the R0 number, the more people a virus can infect. So an R0 of 2 means that patient 0 will, on average, infect two other people, who in turn can infect another two people, and so on. An infection like measles sits higher up the spectrum, with an R0 of between 12 and 18. At the lower end is something like Ebola, with an R0 number of 1.5 to 2.5. And while the flu varies from year to year, one study reports it averages to 1.2. But as various factors change, so too does the R0. Take SARS. When it first emerged, SARS spread rapidly with a high R0. But people were only contagious once symptoms started showing. Once people were informed about the symptoms, they started coming to the hospital earlier. People could check themselves into hospital before infecting other people, pushing the R0 number below 1. And that is how a virus can spread.